Hey guys, so I just ordered a lot of nail supplies that I use all the time and I thought this would be a good time to do a refresher video on products that I use all the time. So I'm just going to do a little unboxing and share with you and talk about some other things that I use so you guys know what I'm using all the time and what my favorite products are. I'll also have links down below for all the products that I talk about. Most of them will be affiliate links just so that you are aware because I am affiliated with Amazon. A lot of things I get on Amazon and there's some other companies that I'm affiliated with and I'll talk to you about those. I'll also let you know the best place to get certain items for the best price, which is really nice too. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video and let's get into all the wonderful products that I have here. And it feels so good to just have everything restocked. My favorite nail polish remover is the Zoya Remove Plus. It does have a little bit of acetone in it, but I love it. It works so well on glitters. I don't wear glitters a ton. I think the best way to get glitters off is kind of soak your nails in acetone for a minute with little cotton rounds like you would with gel and then take it off that way. I just love this polish remover. It works quickly. It's very efficient. I love this pump bottle and I will just refill this. So I have used this one for a couple of years. So I did order a new one because this one has been kind of broken. And so every couple of years I'll replace this one. But I think this is about 10 or $12 a bottle. I could be wrong. Like I said, I'll have everything linked below. I definitely needed to get a new bottle of this. So I ordered it. It's just not here yet. And so I also wanted to show you that I have the replacement bottles in here. Let me open these. I like to order this from a place called Yo Beauty USA and so I order it through eBay so it's about $20 a bottle of these large ones um, I'll let you know how many ounces they are but it's about $5 cheaper than anywhere else you can get it so I really enjoy ordering from them and I usually get a couple bottles at a time just so I don't have to worry about it for a while <laughs> they really squeeze in in these containers though. So this is 32 ounces. So I will just refill this one, which is really nice because I don't have to keep buying and wasting all plastic. And so I just reuse this bottle and refill with this one. And these last me, oh man, I feel like I should look up the last time I ordered this. I want to say almost a year, but I use a lot of remover. I think if you just did your nails regularly like a normal person that you could have this last for a really long time and I just love it so I have two bottles so actually I probably use two of these bottles a year I would say I'll have to pay attention to that this year but I ordered two and I also ordered these OPI expert touch lint free nail wipes and I love them so much especially for swatching because you always have that dreaded hair or the cotton fabric from cotton rounds. I still like to use cotton rounds here and there. So I'll use them if I have like really thick polish to take off or if I want to take off my whole hand and I'm not swatching, then I'll use these because they are, I believe, a little bit cheaper. And I just use the basic cotton rounds from Target and I'll link them down below. I do like those, but they can tend to leave little hair fibers around. So that's why I love these so much. Here, I'll open one. Just little squares and they're pretty thin. They hold the perfect amount of nail polish remover and I, I love them. They're my favorite. So I have been using these probably for about a year. And when I'm swatching, I'll use this for like three live swatches. So I'll get good use out of just one. I try to use as much as I can so I don't waste any products. Love these. I ordered like three, two packs of all of these. And I'm just glad to have them all. They're my favorite. Okay, so I also recently did an order with Glisten and Glow. You guys know that's my favorite top coat. I love it so much. It's just a really nice, plump, fast drying top coat. It dries super fast. It doesn't streak your nail art and it is just really great. <laughs> When I first started painting nails, I was using just a regular OPI top coat and it would never dry, I swear. And I would wait like three hours and it still wouldn't dry and I'd get so frustrated. So I started doing a little bit more research and found out that fast dry top coats are definitely the way to go. So if you're frustrated by that, then try a fast dry top coat. There's lots of different top coats from different brands and I've tried several. I could probably tell you which one is great for each brand. I like SE Speed Setter, OPI. I don't really know if they have one. Sally Hansen had a red bottled one that was really nice that I liked and there was also that one Sesh Viet which was nice but it did have a little bit of shrinkage. Anytime you have one of these fast dry top coats it's a little more plump I think you are going to get just a little bit of shrinkage but this one's really great as far as that goes. It doesn't pull back away from the nail very much. So I just think this one is amazing. I can't say enough good things about it and if I haven't convinced you to get it yet 
then I'm not going to be able to <laughs> ever convince you, I guess, because it is just worth a shot. And the thing about these fast drying top coats is they do tend to thicken up and that is just normal. So I always buy the Restore in Thin and I'll open this here. Let's see. I just ran out of my other one and I'm going to give you a few tips about this because there's some things I've learned about it. So this is the Restore in Thin and it comes with this little dropper which is really nice. I kind of learned this time that I don't keep this cap on all the time because I, I feel like it's not as tight as this cap and it did tend to like evaporate a little bit. So I did feel like I lost some of my product. So I'm just going to keep this lid on and then use this dropper. Um, when I'm just using it and then take it out and put this lid back on just because I don't want to lose any more product but this is such a great thing you put in like four or five drops and it just thins it right up back to a consistency that you like I do find if this tends to get a little thicker your nails will tend to peel off a little bit more easily and so you want to make sure that you're thinning it out so if you're gonna buy this I think you definitely need to buy the restore and thin as well but it's definitely worth it and this will last you quite a while if you keep this lid on and you can use up all your bottles if a bottle is getting halfway down or maybe down to like this point right here I do like to pour it in another bottle that's maybe halfway down just to have that brush reach a little bit better and then I'll add a little bit of restore and thin and then that way I'm using up like almost all of the product I do tend to have just a little bit left at the end because it's hard to get it on your brush and I just rather use a fresh bottle but this is actually a pretty great price so this for sure <laughs> and then get this with it is follow me on Instagram stick to my stories because they do have sales once in a while and so I'll let you know when they have a sale and it's a good time to stock up on their top coat but it is fantastic as far as base coat goes I don't use a ton of base coat I know it's terrible even when I paint my nails regularly, I haven't been using base coat because I've just been lazy, honestly. But I will tell you my favorite base coats. I love Orly Bonder. It's a rubber base coat. I tend to lean towards the rubber base coats for some reason. I just think they work well. So I like the Orly Bonder base coat and I also like CND Sticky Base. CND Sticky Base is probably my favorite. I do like that it's a little bit blue toned because I do feel like it helps a little bit with that yellow tone on your nails. And they do help prevent staining. So for sure, if I'm going to use a dark or red polish I will definitely be using a base coat you definitely should do as I say not as I do I don't like to use it when I'm swatching either people ask me that because I just don't want to waste the product and I I swatch something and I wipe it right off and so I just think it's kind of pointless for me to do that so I do like to apply the polish just directly on my nails when I'm doing live swatches but those are my favorite base coat I just haven't had to stock up on them for a while because my bottle has been lasting me for a long time lately another product that I recently got was this OPI repair mode and they suggest that you use this two times a day on bare nails for six days and I have been using this I have had my nails not be in the best condition right now I peeled some polish off my nails which I would never recommend and it did peel up some of that and my nails peel as well too and I like that this is a serum it's really nice and light so I can put it under any manis that I'm doing and I did use it for six days and then I took a little break and then I have started using it again for six days and I feel like it's helped my nails so much it's a bond building nail serum there is a hardener that I like and I don't use it very often I don't think you need to use nail hardeners very often unless your nails are super super weak and you should only use them for a couple weeks so I do like this one I I do pull it out every once in a while if my nails are in bad shape I'll do it although I do think I like this a little bit better now I do like to have one of these on hand because it's my favorite nail strengthener and I'll only use it for a couple weeks like it's instructed you want your nails to be flexible because then that way they're not gonna break if they're really hard they're just gonna break and crack but I do like this a lot. Another product that I absolutely love is this Terra Beauty Bars oil. This is the Floral Infusion Multitasking Oil and I just ran out of this bottle. It has little flowers and herbs and stuff in there and lavender and so you can use this on your body hair or nails and I love this big bottle. They sent this to me. I actually have an affiliate code with them, a coupon code that you guys can use and I'll put it on the screen here. But I've been through like two bottles of these and I do use it on my legs sometimes too if I'm feeling like I really need the extra moisture. I just want them to look a little shiny and I have use it in my hair like if I'll put it on my legs I'll have it in my hands and I'll rub it on my hair too so I love that it's multi-purpose and it is perfect for my nails I love to put this by my nightstand I put it on every night and every morning and if I'm in my room in the afternoon I'll try to put some on too I really think oil is the best thing recently just got another bottle of this and have it by my nightstand so 
this one's all used up and now I'm going to start using this bottle. So you do want to make sure that you're using a jojoba oil. Jojoba oil has molecules that are small enough to penetrate into your nails so they will hydrate. There's some oils that are not meant for your nails because they won't penetrate through it, but this is a great one. I've considered doing some nail soaks, but I feel like I don't want to use that much oil. People have been suggesting that you do a nail soak like once a week with a warm oil. I might start trying it, but I, I kind of feel like I apply this enough that I'm probably fine and I don't want to waste the product by putting it in a bowl. Um, I guess you could reuse it over time, but nail oil is probably one of the best things you can do for your nails. It will also help the skin around your nails. Another product that I love to have in my nightstand by my bed is this Heart as Hoof Nail Strengthening Cream. It is a strengthening cream, but I feel like it's just not a hardener, if that makes sense. It doesn't make my nails hard, it just strengthens them. And so I bought a few more jars of it. I've been going through it. I didn't use it over this winter. I really wish I was really consistent because I find when I'm super consistent with this product, my nails are in such great shape. What I like about this too is you don't need a ton of product and it kind of just melts into your skin. And I like to rub it in, make sure to get it underneath your nails as well, and then just rub it in and let it sit. And it does soak in pretty good. It's one of my very, very favorite products as well. Another one of my favorite products is Aquaphor and I love this. I think it really mostly just helps for dry skin around the nails. I use it for a lot of things. I use it for my lip. This and the Laneige sleeping mask, I'll just kind of rotate. But I buy this smaller bottle for my lips because I like to keep it separate from the tub that I use for my nails and my feet. I ended up just buying this brand new tub because I was out of my other tub. I like to just use it for both. So these are all the products that I keep in my nightstand. What I like to do for my nighttime and morning routine is if I'm using the serum, I'll put this on first. So I'll put it on before anything else, whether it's in the morning or at night, I will apply it twice. And then I'll let that dry for a minute and soak in. And then I'll go ahead and put my oil on and let that soak in for a minute. And then with my heart as hoof, this sounds really complicated, but I promise it's not. It takes like 30 seconds. And let that soak in. And then I'll come in with my aquaphor. Sometimes I won't if I'm using this, but once in a while I'll come in with my aquaphor at the end. So the majority of time when I'm not using the repair mold, I always start with the oil first and then and this because I feel like the oil will soak in a little bit better before applying this and then aquaphor last just for my skin. So that's kind of the routine that I do morning and night and then in the afternoon if I walk in my bedroom for any reason like to go to the bathroom or anything <laughs> or just walk by I'll put some on too. I just recently added a bottle of this to my car. I'm not gonna be able to keep it in there when it gets super hot but for right now I was like I'm gonna try to be more consistent and do it at least three or four times a day and so I put one in there but I also have some different oils in there. I have a serum from all of and June in there too that I'm going to talk about in a minute. That's kind of my morning and nighttime routine. What else do I have in my box here? So I got some CND solar oil also. Used to be able to find the big bottle of it and for some reason I just can't but and I feel like this was hard to find for a little while. I like this size brush for when I'm doing swatching and so I was out of this and so I just ordered another one. This is the solar oil by CND and it's also one of my favorite oils as well. So I bought a new one of that. And then I haven't ever tried the soil oil pen but I thought I'd put this in my car for this summer and have it in there as well. I'm just gonna pull it out. I like these pens especially when I'm driving. Um, really, really nice. This is a good little thing too that I've never tried. I'm sure it's just the same oil though, just different applicator. <laughs> I ordered these lip glosses that people have been talking about. I don't know, these are the Cover, Cover Girl Prosecco Pop. I don't know if that's the color that I was thinking I was ordering, but I'm gonna try it on. Opening plastic with my nails. <laughs> I don't wanna ruin my nails. I always use tools, guys. So I got two different colors. I heard people talking about these and said they were really good. So let's put it on, see if we like it. I think it is kind of a matte and I don't have a gloss to go on top of it. I, I don't think this is the color that I wanted to order. I thought it was more pink. This is more nude. I definitely feel like I want a gloss on top of this. I do like the color. That is pretty. Okay, I have a gloss, but it is, it's colored. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on because I don't want matte right now. Let's make it a little glossy. A 
lingerie. I just like to tap it in. And that's a pretty combo. So yeah, this is the Prosecco Pop Outlast Ultimate Cover Girl. And this is the Yay Rose, which will be really pretty. So I ordered two new lip glosses. I'll probably be wearing in these in some reviews. I love to wear different lip glosses and lip products. What's this? I also ordered some facial oil. So I have been trying out Gua Sha, you guys. I am getting a little bit older. I just turned 46 last month. I've been wanting to do some stuff for my face, but I haven't been wanting to do anything too invasive. And so I did a little research and saw Gua Sha and I was like, oh, I really, really want to try this. So I've been consistent for about seven days. Honestly, I feel like I can see some improvements in some areas. So I'm going to be consistent with it and give it a go and see how it goes. Maybe I'll let you guys know how it goes. But I've wanted to buy some facial oil. I was using my Terra oil and it was a little bit heavy for that, I think. But I'm glad to finally have some facial oil to use and it's probably a little bit lighter and doesn't have certain products in it that you don't want on your face. I don't know what those are, but I think this is better and I didn't want to spend a ton of money and I love e.l.f. products for stuff like that and hopefully I'll like this facial oil. So that's been fun. I've actually been enjoying it. It's quite relaxing. I'll do it at night. Sometimes I'll do it in the morning, but it's also been really good at helping me wash my face at night. I'm not the best face washer at night. Um, I've never really had to worry about it because I don't get zits too often, but I know it's probably not good for your skin, but so this has been helping me do that too. So it's been good. Elf facial oil. I ordered these a couple months ago. I just wanted a new cuticle pusher. This is my favorite one by Tweezer Man. It's got this square end hopefully you can see that and then it's got the little bit more rounded end I mostly use this square end so I do like to push my cuticles back with this you can see that in my nail routine I probably won't film a video to show that it's my favorite it kind of pulls away the layer of skin that grows up your nails like a cuticle so I like to push that back completely and that's how I mostly clean up my nails I do once in a while like to use a little drill and I got a more expensive one and it's pretty aggressive and I had some tips on it that were a little more aggressive I just wanted to try that out and I feel like I wasn't using it properly you guys I was using it too much and it was creating little divots in my nails they're starting to grow out and they're a little better but as I was looking at some of my swatch videos I was like oh I can see those little bumps on there and I just wasn't using it properly and so I figured out how to use it a little bit better I barely lightly use it I liked my older one that wasn't as powerful I might switch back to some drill bits that aren't quite as aggressive anyway so I mostly use this to get rid of any cuticles I don't really cut back any of my cuticles either I just really try to avoid that I'm lucky enough to have some that aren't too big so anyway I would suggest this tool when kind of pushing everything back it's definitely my favorite and I've tried a lot I also love these little tweezer man tweezers I ended up getting some new ones I can send these in I've heard and get them sharpened I have never done that I just ended up getting some new ones because I haven't had some new ones for like four or five years and it's definitely nice to have some sharper ones so I'll have to look into that next time I've never tried that but I do I do like this brand quite a bit and it's nice for cleaning up any dry spots that I have in my nails and nails especially since I'm filming super close up <laughs> you can basically see everything everything's exposed when you're filming that close so I like to get rid of some of some dry spots so I got some new ones of those so I use those all the time okay some other products that I use and I get every season because all of in June is I'm lucky enough to have all of in June send me all this but if they didn't I would get them on my own because they're some of my favorite products in the Manny kit they send you a kit basically <laughs> This is an older bag. I like the little plastic bags they come in. I keep some of them, some of them I don't. This one was cute. I liked that it was a, a button snap instead of a zipper, but um, I'll show you what products in here I like to use. I don't ever use the poppy. I just don't. But I feel like it's necessary for some people. If you have a hard time, your hands shake and you have dexterity issues, I feel like it would be really good. And then I love their cleanup brush. I really do. It's one of my favorites. I also like the e.l.f. one, but I feel like I've kind of moved on and gotten used to just using the Olive and June one. So the cleanup brush that comes in the kit is super, super nice. Super nice. They send you this buffer. These are the only nail files I use are this one and this buffer. They're just perfect. You've got a little more fine grit and a more 
coarse grit and then I love this buffer and I've been trying not to buff my nails too much just slightly I feel like I kind of got a little crazy with the buffing especially since I'm painting my nails so often so I tried to back out on that but I just use these exclusively and this cleanup brush for when I'm doing my nails the cleanup brush is gonna make all the difference in painting your nails it's what's gonna make it look professional you can use this I dip it in acetone um, speaking of which I ordered some acetone I'll talk about that in a minute I don't think it came still we have to look into that but anyway I dip this in a little dish with some acetone I dab it off onto a little towel that I keep in my lap and then do some cleanup if you take it directly from the jar and then put it on your nail it's going to flood your cuticles and it's going to make a bigger mess you want to definitely take some of the excess off the brush by dipping it onto a towel so I like to do that I have a nail care um, routine and how I paint my nails video maybe I'll link those down below so you can kind of see the process I explain it in detail and it's pretty much almost the same as my routine that I still use these are great products also in the nail kit comes nail clippers I don't really use those very often but it's nice to have them around I and mean, sometimes I'll use them but not not super often I do like this serum I like to keep this in my desk as well because I like to use it during the day if I'm on a computer or something I don't want something that's totally oily and greasy because it'll get on my keyboard but I like this one for that purpose so if you have a job where you're working on a keyboard a lot or you just want to read a book or something after you take care of your nails it's kind of nice to use this instead of an oil it soaks in really nicely and it doesn't leave a bunch of oily marks around so I really like the serum and I do like this foam applicator it's really nice and it's a little bit different it's a little bit lighter on your skin okay so I'm gonna talk about acetone this is the brand of acetone that I love to use it's just my favorite I've tried some other ones from like Walmart like equate brand or Target what's the Target brand I just feel like I really love this brand so much it's just so nice it works well and it's just really good with cleanup and I've just always stuck with it it is available to me at a local beauty shop that I go to here and there and I also order it from Amazon so I'll put a link to that down below but if you're painting your nails and you want them to look nice and professional acetone is the trick I wouldn't use regular nail polish for this step I just feel like acetone works so much better if I go on a trip or a vacation or something Thing. I'll take this Olive in June pot and I'll talk about other reasons I like this but I like to take it on vacation and I don't like to haul some acetone as well so I'll just dip my brush in this so I will use regular polish to do cleanup if necessary like if I'm on vacation or traveling or something but at home I for sure always use acetone but I also love this nail polish remover pot it is so nice especially when I'm swatching polish and I mess up one nail I can just clean off the one nail I don't have to mess with a cotton round or one of my cotton squares to clean it up and mess and risk messing everything up or say you're painting your nails and you mess up on one nail then you can just clean it and you just um, you just stick your nail inside and it has this little foam thing and you just kind of swirl it around and it takes your polish off and it's super nice I use this pot all the time I have one by my bed just in case I want to take my polish off I have one in here in my nail room while I'm filming and they're just super handy and I love to use these when I travel that is just one thing I always like to pack because I love painting nails on my vacations <laughs> I do a lot of nail things for you guys when I'm on vacation this is just one of my favorite things hey I think that's it those are mostly the main products that I use and I've been using them for years and have been loving them and so hopefully you found this video helpful if there's any products that you love let me know in the comments down below I may have missed something but I might be also missing out on something so if you have a product that you love that you can't live without let me know down below because I'd love to try out new products as well I think it's always fun to try out new things so hopefully you guys enjoyed this make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't I've noticed that like 50% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed so if you could subscribe that would completely help out my channel I totally appreciate it thanks so much and we'll see you guys next time bye